Houston. Thank you, Steve. The horses are on the track. Well, this morning's first race led to the post for official starter Greg Coon, Orlando, Florida. Our outriders, Diane Winters, Barker of Delaware, Ohio, and assistant outrider, Pat Edwards, Coffee of Marengo, Ohio. And these are the horses for the first race. A Billings Amateur Trot, sponsored by the Delvin Miller Amateur Driving Association, trophy for Delaware County Fair. And these are the horses. Number one, Silver Chip. Joel Schof, the lessee of Johnstown, Ohio. Joel Schof trains. Monica Torres drives the one. Silver Chip. Number two, Durham Lady. Homestock Farm, Millersburg, Ohio. Richard Wagers trains. Fred Noe drives the two. Durham Lady. Number three, Crispy T. Dean Vraker of Delaware, Ohio, the owner. Frank Todd Jr. trains. Mike Lopez driving the three, Crispy T. Number four, B and Q Parlay. Mary Ringler of Mount Gilead, Ohio, James Lupton trains and drives the four, B and Q Parlay. Number five, Keystone Gunther. Kelly Jean Rucker of Hebron, Ohio. Tim Rucker trains. Bill Creighton drives the five. Keystone Gunther, trotting hobbles. The six is Levi Sabra. Michael Baker, Greenville, Ohio. Wade Ross trains. Michael Baker drives the six. Levi Sabra. Number seven is scratched. Scratch the seven due to lameness. And number eight, Lone Roan. Lake Leland of Bainbridge, Ohio. Keith Haynes trains. Ruth Menor drives the eight. Lone Roan. Win place show. Perfecta, trifecta. Tenny double wagering on the first. Scratch the seven. Two pair and a spare due to lameness. No change of correction. Second race. It's Roger Houston. Billings Amateur Trotters. Moving up and moving in behind the great coon starting gate on the upper turn. The gate swings into the stretch and here they come. Track. He entered the turn. Chris BT takes command on the inside. Racing up as they race over the first day. B and Q parlay. The outside. Keystone got third. Third racing fourth. Lone Road. Down the back side they go. Racing fifth. Levi Sabra. Six is Silver Chip. Turning to be a Durham Lady. As they race over to the opening quarter. 29 and 3. He entered the turn. Go on to the 3 8 mark. Michael Lopez and Crispy T lead the way. Up on the outside, Bill Creighton is hung with Keystone Gunther. He inside, BNQ Parlay racing up fourth, long run. Fifth is Levi Sabra, Silver Chip, sixth, and Trinity the field, Durham Lady passing it into the first time. Coming to the halfway point. Halfway home in one minute. Two fifths. He entered the turn, going to the five eights. Crispy T on top and three wide. Levi Sabra trying to swoop up. Now fourth, now third, now second. As they race to the back side. Crispy T with the lead. Levi Sabra on the outside. Out pops. Jane Lupton and B and Q parlay. Lone row. Closing on the inside for Ruth Menor. Going to the three-quarter mark. Three quarters, 131 and three. He had the final turn. B and Q parlay on the outside. Crispy T the inside. Long road. Closing on the outside with every stride. Eighth of a mile to go. And long road on the outside. Gets to the front. B and Q parlay. Crispy T on the inside. Down the stretch she comes, Ruth Manor and Lone Road. Crispy T second, up for third, Silver Chip, 204.
certainly a hot pace there in the first of our Billings races. They hustled to the half in a minute and two, and uh, they were looking for uh, automatic uh, press button oxygen. They're coming home 2:04 <laughs> the final time, and it's Lone Roan who sat behind that wicked early action, just drafting along. And Ruth Menor, despite making a square turn at the top of the stretch there, gets up to win it impressively with this uh, gray carry the message mirror. Yeah, one for 40 coming into this race over the last two seasons, but it didn't stop her uh, this afternoon. Patient drive by Ruth Menor. Uh, looked like an 8-3-1 across the wire. They have posted unofficially, and that's going to be a nice price, 13-1 to 1 on the 8. We take a look at the stretch drive. You can see how wide Lone Roan came when uh, when Ruth tipped off the rail there, but she had the momentum going and uh, did win it. Crispy T, who's trained locally here at Delaware by Frank Todd Jr., winds up second for Mike Lopez. Saw a lot of pressure throughout. And my horse, Silver Chip, had no speed but was very steady. Monica Torres slid up the rail past some horses, angled out in the stretch, wound up finishing third at a generous 50. 15 to 1. I think my horse was fourth, but it went about two miles. I should get some kind of an extra uh, special accommodation for that. And these Billings races are handicapping nightmares in a lot of ways because uh, most of these drivers are very inexperienced, and your driver was too. He was <laughs> three wide, even though uh, he wasn't caught up to the horse who was two wide. <laughs> what are you going to say? But still, it's a lot of fun. And, you know, I've, I've driven a little bit, and I know you drove in an amateur race, and there's a lot more to it oh, when yeah, you're actually out there than when you're sitting in the stands criticizing. It's not easy, let me tell you. They're coming under the wire there, and it is the eight lone roan. Keith Haynes trains this one for owner Larry Cleland from uh, Bainbridge, Ohio. And Ruth has driven this one in some of the county fair races and over at the Meadows. Really hasn't had a lot of success. I'm sure uh, this will be a, a very satisfying victory for her today, and she has a big smile on her face as she heads back to the winner's circle. Yeah, I think there's no other place they'd rather win than Delaware, these amateur drivers. At this time... Back in front of the stands and going to the winner's circle at Delaware, Ohio, Ruth Menor. And number eight, Lone Roan. Larry Cleland of Bainbridge, Ohio, the owner. Keith Haynes, Jerrings. Lone Roan, home winner in 204. Congratulations, Ruth Menor and Lone Roan. They win the first division of the Billings Amateur Trot. Well, Dave, um, you got to give these guys credit and the gals credit. They were out there winging. Yeah, the they're opening quarter, sub 30 seconds. They get to the half in a minute and two. And as we talked about, they try to seed the Billings division to make the fields a little more competitive. And this was the weakest of the five divisions today. And that's the way these usually, races usually go. Very fast first half, very slow closing half, it seems. And the chalk players will not be happy as number eight, Lone Roan, pays 28-20 on top, 10 even to place, four even to show. 